Canva's at it again. They've just announced several brand new features that are going to majorly level up your design game. Whether you're using Canva to create social media content, digital products to sell, or even just for your own personal projects, these new Canva tools are going to greatly help your graphic design process. In this video, I'm sharing what each new feature is and how you can make use of it right away, whether you're a beginner who's just starting out or a seasoned Canva pro. So let's dive right in. All right, the first tool we're gonna be looking at is the new Light Lab app. So when you're working with a photo in Canva, you can come over to the left where it says apps and there's a new app called Light Lab. This is the one right here. So if you click on that with your photo and your project selected, you'll see a preview of the photo here on the left. You can see the different presets that this app gives you for changing around what the lighting in this photo looks like. So I'm gonna click add light effects and this applied the new lighting that I had selected to my photo. Now I can come back under presets and continue changing this around according to the preset that I like the most. There's different colors, different variations, but you can see what colors are being added with that preset. When you look up here in the preview, you'll see two little circles that you can click and drag to move around. So I've got this green circle here in the bottom right corner. I've got the purple here up in the top left, but let's say I wanted to switch those and I wanted to bring the purple down to the bottom and the green up to the top. I could do that. I can drag these anywhere I want. And when you release them after dragging, you can see the new placement of that source of light in your photo. You can also see what colors are being used here under the lights section. You can continue editing by changing the intensity of the coloring in the photo, the distance, which is referring to how far out that light is traveling from where you have the little color circle in your photo and the radius as well. Once you're happy with the way it looks in your preview, you can click save and it will apply those final changes to your photo in your project. This is just super helpful if you have a photo that you like, but you just want the lighting to look a little bit different. Really a fun way to level that up. Now, all of the tools that we're talking about today can be used in a variety of ways, but one of my very favorite things to do on Canva is to create digital products to sell. If you'd like to earn some extra income, whether it just be as a side hustle, or maybe you want to build a full online business that could replace your nine to five, selling digital products is an amazing route to go. And Canva is the perfect tool to use to create these products. Now, if you think you're interested in selling digital products, or maybe you already started your shop, but just haven't seen the amount of sales that you've wanted, I've got a free 45 minute deep dive masterclass called digital product powerhouse where I teach through the four crucial steps you'll need to take to start and grow a profitable online digital products business. This is the class I wish I'd had when I first started creating and selling digital products. So I wanted to make it available to you to give you a shortcut as you get started and as you grow to making consistent sales. I've got that class linked in the description box below so you can hop over right after you get done here watching this video and watch that on demand. Okay, new Canva tool number two is the ability to create your own voiceover. Previously in Canva, we had the option with videos to generate an AI voice, but recently Canva rolled out this new option where you can actually record yourself so you can create your own voice in a voiceover to go with a video. So the first step here is you're going to want to add whatever video you want to use to your Canva project. I just pulled this beautiful one over from the Canva elements library. You can just come to the left where it says elements and type in whatever type of video you're looking for, sort by videos and drag it over into your project. Or if you've created your own video, you can always upload that and bring it in as well. But once you've got your video, here in the project, the next step is to come over to the left where it says uploads and you'll see an option here under the button that says upload files to record yourself. So when you click on record yourself, now you'll see this record voiceover option. When you select that, you'll see this big red button that says record up here at the bottom. So when you're ready to record yourself, you can just hit that and speak whatever you want to add to the voiceover. It'll give you a countdown. This is a test voiceover for my beautiful fall leaf video. And I click finish and now you can see it's added my voiceover track here underneath the video in my timeline. So this purple box right here is my recording of the voiceover. If I come here to the beginning, I can play my video, which then should also have this audio playing along with it. This is a test voiceover for my beautiful fall leaf video. Okay, so that worked beautifully and I can continue with all my normal functionality of the video editor by dragging this to clip the video and adding whatever effects I want to it. Okay, new feature number three is easier brand template access. So brand templates are not new to Canva, but they've added a lot of access points so you can get to them quicker. Now, if you're not familiar, a brand template is just any template that you use over and over again for your business or your brand that you want quick and easy access to. Now, previously, if you wanted to access a brand template, you would have had to click through from the homepage to the brand tab, click down to brand templates, and then access it from here. But now when we create a new project, we can see our brand templates right here under the create a design menu before we ever even click what type of design we want to create. 
You can click straight into a brand template from here. Or let's say we wanted to create a presentation, for instance, and we're here in the project with my blank presentation selected, it automatically comes up with the option to select my brand template over here on the left under templates. So I've got a slide deck presentation here that's an entire template that I love to use. When creating slide presentations, this is one of my brand templates, and I'm going to select that and then click apply all 51 pages, and that will apply all of my pages to my project so I can then edit it from there instead of having to start from scratch. Now, like I mentioned before, creating and selling digital products is a wonderful way to make money online, especially because a lot of digital products can become passive, which means that you just create the design once up front, and then it can sell over and over again on repeat without you having to do any more work to fill orders. Now, if you think you like to sell digital products, but you're like, I have no clue how to start. I don't want to start from scratch. I really don't even know how to create designs that well. I've got you covered. I've got an entire free bundle for you of my own Canva digital product templates that were created by my team specifically for you to use. So you don't have to start from scratch. You don't have to build these designs from the ground up. You've got a shortcut and you can use these templates that we've created to create your own digital products to sell. So if you'd like to get those again, that's a completely free bundle, just a gift that we wanted to help you reach success faster. And I've got the link for that down in the description box below. All right, moving right along to our next new Canva feature. And this is a whole set of improvements to the popular bulk create app. So the Bulk Create app is one that is well loved and used by a lot of people because it helps us to create a large amount of designs within minutes. So if you're familiar with Bulk Create, what you'll need to do first is open your project and just create the base design that you want. For mine, I'm just gonna come over to the elements library and pull over this really pretty image of a bird. And then I'm gonna come to text and add a few text boxes here. Now what I have in mind for this demo is creating a whole set of different designs that have Bible verses about hope. So I'm gonna keep this text on the bottom and put this as as my reference. And then I'm gonna add another text box that I'm going to title text. This is gonna be the actual text for the scripture itself. You can edit these to make them as large or small as you want, change the fonts. I'm gonna center this. Again, you're gonna to wanna to just make this however you want your design to look before you move into using the app itself. Now, what I did next was I came over to ChatGPT and I asked it to create a CSV file, including 20 Bible verses about hope. I continued with, in the spreadsheet, one of the columns should be titled reference. Please put the Bible verse reference for each one in this column and then the words of the verse itself in the next column titled text. So to use the Bulk Create app, you're going to want to have this CSV file. So ChatGPT was able to pull those verses for me and go ahead and put them in a CSV file, which I could then click and download. And now coming back to Canva, I'm going to come over to the left where it says apps and search for Bulk Create. This is the one right here that we're going to use. Now you can see one of the new updates here is that you can now upload data from your Canva Sheets. So Canva Sheets was a new spreadsheet software that Canva released earlier this year. So now you can connect straight from if you've created a spreadsheet with Canva Sheets over to Bulk Create. Of course, you can always use these other options that have been here as well. Or you can click at the bottom where it says Upload Data. That's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna use this CSV file. So I'm gonna choose that download of the spreadsheet and bring it in to use. Now on my project itself, I'm going to select this first text box, right click, choose connect data. And then it gives me the option to choose which column from my spreadsheet I want to appear in this text box. So I don't want the reference there. I'm gonna put the reference down here. I want the actual text. If you remember, I told ChatGPT to give me two columns, one titled reference and one titled text. So I'm gonna connect the text with the column that's titled text. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to come to the reference text, right click, choose connect data and choose reference. So now over here, I can see on the left, I've got two data fields added. Now this is another one of the major upgrades to the Bulk Create app is that previously you were limited to 60 fields right here, but they've increased that up to 150. So you can now have a spreadsheet with up to 150 different fields that you could connect to your design. I've only got two here for this demo, but it is good to know for more robust projects that you have that option now. Now here's my favorite update to the app. If you come down here under continue and click on advanced options, you now have the option to name each page that's going to be generated in your project using one of the titles of your columns in your spreadsheet. So right here under where it says name each page using, I can use either my reference column or my text column. So if I want to make it easy on myself and have a name for each of these pages, I could choose to use, let's say my reference column. So it gives an example here, Jeremiah 29 11 is one of my references. So you'll see in a minute that when we generate this, each of these pages will be named according to 
what verse is on that page. I can also choose what folder I want to save this in and then click continue. So it'll show me now all of the different scriptures that are going to be generated here. And I'm gonna leave this just with all of them selected. You could potentially unselect certain ones if you wanted, but I'm going to generate all of them and click generate 20 designs. And now you can scroll down and see how it's given me each of the scriptures in a different design. Now, some of these are a little bit longer. So the ones that are longer, I might need to resize a little bit, move around and format until they look right. But you can see each one is also named according to the verse that's on it, which is gonna come really in handy if I wanted to just download certain ones of these and I wanted to be able to quickly know which one is the scripture on that specific page, I've got each page named here. Okay, moving along to the next new feature, which is an update to Canva AI. Here we're talking specifically about Canva code, and now Canva has made it to where Canva code is usable outside of Canva. So if you're familiar with Canva AI, it's a tool that Canva recently rolled out. This year, you can come from the homepage over to Canva AI. You can do a lot of things with Canva AI, and one of those amazing features is this code for me option. So when I click code for me, I can give it a prompt to create actual code for some type of interactive tool or activity or game I have in mind. For this demo, I'm just gonna choose one that they have down here, like a simple countdown timer. It's given me the prompt and I'm going to go ahead and submit to generate that code. It's really fun to see the code being generated in real time. You can see as it's working through creating that code for you. And once it's done, you'll see what the code actually created. So here's our simple countdown timer. We can click the start button and it gets it started, counting down from 15 minutes. Of course, we can always Always come over here to the left and continue refining this or giving it additional prompts. But for our purpose today, I want to show you the new feature here. So previously, Canva code was only able to be used in an actual Canva website. You were not able to use it anywhere outside of Canva. They've changed that now. So you can actually copy and paste your code and use it externally. So if you want to do that, if you want to switch from this view back over to the actual code, you'll just come to the top where it says show code and toggle that on, which gives you the actual code itself itself. And they've got this handy little button here that says copy codes. So in one click, you've got the entire code copied to your clipboard. And then you can go over to a third party site. Like maybe if you have a website hosted on a different platform, or you want to embed this in, you would simply click over to that page and paste your code where it needs to go to add it or embed it there. You still got the option to use this in a Canva website if you want, but it's so nice now that they've made this able to be copied and pasted over to external platforms as well. So there you go, friend. But those are the new Canva updates. Remember, if you're wanting to sell digital products online, click the links below to hop over and watch my 45 minute deep dive digital product masterclass. And while you're down there, click that link to grab your free digital product Canva template bundle. Talk soon, friend.